Hey Google, what's my name? Your name is Paul. Okay Google, tell me a joke. Okay, here you go. What time does Sean Connery get to Wimbledon? Tenish. Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. My name is, of course, Paul. Today we're talking about this little guy, the Google Home Mini. But first up, let's get it unboxed. biggest thing for me was I didn't buy this in the UK I bought this in Florida so it's a US version but it still works over here and it works perfectly well it does exactly what you tell it to basically is what I'm trying to say this is obviously the first step in getting everything into like a smart home so this, this right here is the first step the next step in that is to obviously go for the lighting system but then I haven't actually gone for that yet so I can't say okay Google Turn on bedroom lights because it won't Sorry, accept it. It looks like those lights haven't been set up yet. So I have Just to switch it on. Google. I have to switch on the normal bedroom light also by hand by the switch. But again, this is things that's going to come over time. So you can, I'm going to be adding LEDs to the room. I'm going to be adding Philips Hue bulbs to either the lamp and bedroom. And then once we've moved out into our own house, then I'm going to be adding them all over the house and also behind the TV, in different places I'm going to be making it a smart home, as smart as I possibly can. Then you've got the, the likes of the Nest system and you've also got the likes of Logitech's cameras or you've got the Ring doorbell etc. It all comes into one and it can obviously go on your phone. So the other issue that I have, the only one issue that I've got right now with the Google Home is is that I do have an Android phone now the Android phone of choice is obviously the essential phone but it actually has Google on it so if I say it obviously sets it all off and it sets it sets the phone off it sets the Google home off and then it has to decide which one it wants to do so so far what I've been enjoying doing is having it work where I can say send something to the TV Main recommended YouTube videos on bedroom basically you get the Google Home app on your phone I've currently got it on my iPhone once you open up the Google Home app that's what you end up with you end up with obviously I've got a Chromecast on the back of the television it's all set up for that right now and also as well is the actual device itself which is the Google Home Mini right now. Now what I intend to have as well is I also intend to have the Google Wi-Fi system. I'm going to basically integrate everything into one. So I'm going to have one Wi-Fi network, one home network, my, my light system, Nest thermostat, ring doorbell, cameras etc. All in the one. Now when you go into the app, so this is basically what you're going to see. You've got your Google Home Mini and you've got whatever else you've got connected so right now I've got my Chromecast set up to the back of the television and that's what it's now showing me is this the Google Home Mini and the Chromecast and obviously you can add more devices to the list so now obviously you can ask Google anything so you can say okay Google who won the Super Bowl Super Bowl was won by the Philadelphia Eagles would you like to hear more no thank you no problem okay okay Google <laughs> When's Orlando Magic's next game? The Magic's next game is tomorrow at 12.30am, when they will play the Heat. You can get all kinds of information. Okay Google, what's the weather tomorrow? In Prescott tomorrow there'll be rain and snow, with a high of 3 and a low of minus 1. So now Google's obviously getting this from obviously all kinds of other like media outlets that you can obviously search from Google from your phone. And it's just providing that information. Now you can also say, okay Google, Set alarm for 5.30. Right, your alarm set for 5.30 p.m. Okay, Google, stop. 
and I was setting an alarm for you as well. So you could be lying in bed, your phone could be on charge, which mine is, mine normally sits on here, on charge. So you're lying in bed and you think, can I bother getting out of bed? So you just set it up to the, the Google system and it will set an alarm off at 5.30 to you know, like obviously I can ask it to do things, I can ask it to send YouTube to my television, I, I can ask it to send Netflix to the television, open up a series, like let's give that a whirl right now. Okay Google, open YouTube. Playing recommended YouTube videos on bedroom. Okay Google, open Netflix Big Bang Theory. Right, the Big Bang Theory from Netflix, playing on bedroom. So, so I can I can do various different things. I can obviously do that little bit. It can tell you the information. Obviously, do a lot more than just tell you the news, the weather. It can play songs. It can play YouTube. It can play Netflix. It can play other di various different things as well. And also, it'll integrate into your home system that you've got set up to make a smart home. And read it out a recipe. Say you're in the kitchen making something. You can have more of these dotted around the house. When I get my own house, that's what, exactly what I intend to do. There's going to be one upstairs and one downstairs, maybe in the living room or kitchen. Not too sure just yet. I mean, that's just perfect. It goes with everything. There's various different colours as well. What I'll do is I'll try and leave them linked in the description down below for you to head over and check out. Obviously, they won't be affiliate links because Amazon and Google, two separate companies, I don't think they sell them on Amazon. If they do, they'll be linked down below, but anyway, I'll link Google and the link that you need to go and purchase one of these down below. So another cool feature, of actually, of the Google Home series, including the, the, the other one as well as this one, is to make calls from this speaker and also, okay Google, find my phone. I found a few phones. The first listed is a PH1. Well, Google Home comes with a white wire and a white plug. I've changed mine so it's black, so it that it blends in, obviously with the pebble-like design, which obviously looks like a bit of a donut, and it just sits on top of the fridge, and you can't really see the wire hanging behind it. So I absolutely love this little guy. This is absolutely one of the best buys I've ever made. I'm so glad I've done it. Let me know your thoughts on the Google Home Mini. Maybe you've got one yourself. Maybe you've got the new one. Maybe you've got the old Google Home. Your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I truly appreciate it. Drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next video. Take care, everyone.